All right, this is, if you can't tell, Fedora 13 Alpha. What I'm going to do is give you a really quick overview of what I see and what I don't see, just to familiarize you with it. All right, we'll start up here in the upper left corner. We've got applications, traditional accessories, uh, really simple games, one graphics program, Shotwell. I'm not actually familiar with Shotwell, and it's not in Fedora 12. Looks like you can sort it by photos or events. It looks a little bit like F-Spot, really. If I had some photos on here, I'd give it a shot, but I don't. All right, let's just see what happens when I import. So I'm going to import from my pictures directory. I threw a couple of JPEGs in there for my existing install. And there are the five pictures I imported. Looks like a, a really decent entry-level photo editor. You see me there in my, in my This Week in Linux t-shirt and my Dr. Pepper pants. All right, moving on down the list from graphics, we've got the internet, the traditional Empathy IM client, Firefox, remote desktop transmission. Uh, we've got in Office the Evolution Mail and Calendar. We've got Open Office stuff, uh, traditional sound and video stuff. I added GTK Record my desktop, obviously. Um, traditional stuff within the system tools, the automatic bug reporting tool, which is mostly useless. DVD Creator, uh, Disk Usage Analyzer, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, under places, I've got a bunch of partitions up. Let's see, under system preferences, I actually installed the compass config and the desktop effects just to see if it would work out of the box with the open driver. It did not, it said it had to have 3D drivers and because I'm on a live install I am not immediately able to try out the experimental 3D drivers. So let's see, display, power management, all traditional things, regular under administration, Add, remove software, firewall printing. This this is all extraordinarily standard. And of course, package kit, which I'm not really a fan of. Uh, one thing I did notice that I didn't have a problem with on Fedora 12 is that it's reporting that my hard disk has a bunch of bad sectors. Ubuntu 9.10 reported the exact same thing, so whatever they're using to test the hard drive is the same thing that's failing with Ubuntu 9.10. So not really a fan of that idea. Let's see, traditional clock, it's got the locations and stuff. Of course we've got Tomboy installed by default, and it's actually on the bar by default. It sort of lends itself to more of a desktop user. Anyway, this is the Fedora 13 Alpha Live GNOME running on a USB stick because the live CD ISO was actually 860 some megabytes, so it wouldn't fit on a regular CD. I also tested the KDE one, but I wasn't able to uh, capture audio with Record My Desktop within KDE probably just a setting that I'm missing. I'm not a KDE user, so I'm not really familiar with tweaking that. Uh, it was an extremely traditional interface as well. I know with the live CD, that's all they're really wanting to give you. They don't give you the whole kitchen sink. What I may do is actually install Fedora 13 Alpha on my laptop. Anyway, I've tried installing Fedora 13 Alpha in virtual machines, hadn't had any luck with it, so I decided to give it a shot here on my actual machine with a live CD. It runs very decently. It started up kind of slow, but that's running from a laptop CD drive. While we're in here, let's check the desktop backgrounds to see what comes with it. I know Fedora normally comes with them really... I know Fedora th generally comes with some pretty decent desktop backgrounds. Of course, this the one that's on the background, it's sort of uh, line-based. It looks kind of like you're going through space like a rocket. That's the theme. Rockets and space and flying and all that. Here's the... Uh, you see you've got several in this. It's actually directory, so it's going to go through one after another after another. Just like that. You've got some flowers. You've got... what is this? Bubbles. Some really traditional desktops. Nothing too fancy. All in all, I mean, it's, it's a good, well-rounded distro. I'm a big Fedora fan. I would definitely not suggest moving to Fedora 13 Alpha yet, but if you'd like to try it, the live CD can be downloaded from the fedoraproject.com site. You have to actually go into the mirrors to find it. I'll actually put a link on thisweekinlinux.com to where you can find it on a mirror. Etank in my chat room, uh, twill on irc.freenode.net, he mentioned that, and this has been available in Fedora 12 as well, you can actually do a yum history to see what you've done with yum. If I hit yum history now, I've installed a couple of things on this system, just let me show you what I did. Yum history shows me I installed four different things. Now if I do yum history info one, the first thing I installed, it shows you 
I install GTK record my desktop, record my desktop. If I do uh, info 2, it shows you I tried to install Compass Fusion. In info 3, I did the Compass Config Settings Manager. And info 4, the Mesa DRI Drivers Experimental. I was trying to get the 3D drivers installed. Now let's just say, for example, you did one of these you really didn't want to do, you want to roll it back. There are some other distros that actually allow you to do this already. Foresight Linux, for example, I did some packaging for them, and, and they allowed you with Connery to actually roll back what you'd done, however far back you wanted to go. Well, eTank told me that you can actually type in yum, history, undo, and the number. So let's say three. And then it will say, I'm going to remove these. And it just undoes the, that one transaction. So yum, history, undo, two. Should remove Compass Fusion. and it removed it. So if I run yum history again, now that I've erased those couple of things, it will show you one, two, three, four as usual, and then erase and that it altered. So if I do yum history info six, it should tell me that I erased Compass Fusion. Wonderful. In addition, I'm on jfalco.info's website. This is actually another guy who's from the Linux group that I'm a part of, and he's a member of the Fedora marketing team. These are just some talking points that he's mentioned. Network Manager can be used from the CLI now. That's wonderful. I know there were a lot of people that were upset because you couldn't use Network Manager f on a server that way. All right, Experimental 3D support added. You saw I had the Mesa DRI experimental drivers installed. Haven't had a chance to test those yet, but, but out of the box on this, if I type GLX gears, it actually works. I mean, it says direct rendering is enabled, but it must be like 2D rendering. So the 3D driver is actually, it's another driver you have to install, and I will test it at some point, but it's not wanting to work on this live, so I'm going to have to actually install it on a machine. Some other cool things, boot.fedoraproject.org. It's one of the first distributions to offer this. You can actually go there and you can download a very small boot environment. It's kind of like a Unet booting, uh, where you can do a local boot, you can install the media, you can use live media from this little tiny downloadable installer. So you've got a small CD or DVD, a small USB, a floppy even, or an L kernel, which you can use in this way. You can use it with Grub. I haven't had a chance to test that out yet either, but it's a really neat option, and if I had noticed it before I started messing around with all this, it may have been a whole lot better for me. Moving on down these talking points, system rollback with BTRFS. With the yum rollback, I don't know if it's exactly necessary now. I didn't realize yum could rollback before, so that's my mistake. However, if you can do a full rollback with BTRFS, like something happened today, I don't know what it was that I installed that screwed it up, but I want to roll back right now, that would be a great way to do it. BTRFS, it's a different type of file system, so if you're not familiar with it, I don't know if I'd suggest going with it, but it's definitely an option. And it looks like they're going to have a Moblin spin of this. I know they had one of Fedora 12 as well. It says here Live CD, and that is pointing to the Fedora Moblin 12, if you notice there. So what I may actually do is download the Fedora 12 Moblin spin just to see what it looks like and, and how it works. As always, thanks for watching. Sorry this didn't have more production value. I just wanted to really quickly give you an intro to Fedora 13 Alpha. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.